I am about to officially complete the first yo-yo of the Centennial Trail. Yeah, these fall flowers up here are gorgeous. Well, I might as well go ahead. I'm, I have left French Creek Horse Camp and I'm on my way towards Wind Cave. You know, the ending is the start is the Norbeck Trailhead that's located in Wind Cave. And that's where I'm heading. It is on um, about 9.45. I don't know how far I'll get. I probably won't make it all the way today. But I'm going to try to get over halfway there. So my goal is to try to knock out about 10 miles if I can get these 10 miles in. Then that'll leave me only six miles, six and a half miles tomorrow morning, and I'm done. Uh, bison apparently were, have been herded except for males, old males, but they've moved a lot of the bison to the pre-roundup staging areas, which is uh, over to the southeast, and I'm on the, heading in the southwest direction. So other than an isolated male or something i shouldn't have a bison encounters i hope and pray i did hear there was one mother and one calf between me and and uh the highland creek area so that's all i know now i don't know about the bison in wind cave how they're handling that but i'm just trying to avoid that right now looking down constantly because I'm trying to avoid rattlesnakes. My hearing, my hearing for whatever, uh, does not pick up the frequency of rattlesnake rattles if they decide to rattle their rattles. Did that sound normal? Oh well. But anyway, I shall shut my mouth and we'll continue on this trail. All right. I'm almost done, folks. Coming up on today, we'll knock out mile 240 at least. So we should be around 240 to 244, something like that, by the end of the day. So, yeah, it's been long. It's been a long walk. All right. Later, Gators. Okay, I'm here at the French Creek Trailhead. That's two miles down. So, I came from that direction. I don't know if you see my hand in the thing, yeah. Came from there, came from French Creek, and I'm heading that way. So I have eight more miles of, that tells me I have eight more miles left for the, um, Custer State Park section, which leaves me six miles, six and a half miles after that for the Wind Cave section. I'm getting there. All right. Let me get it going. Got to cross this road. There you go. Sorry about the wind noise. Breezy up here, but I'm at elevation. So, for this section. This little part here, so make, I'm just sort of walking along a ridge line or close to it, which makes it pretty easy 
wide open spaces for sure. Uh, took some work getting up to this point. It's gonna be some more work to get done with it for sure. But isn't that beautiful? There you go. Overcast skies. Temperature is temperature is 80 degrees with a breeze. All right, let me keep going. This is not a walk in the park. Trust me, there's a lot of pain and suffering that you don't see on video. <sighs> yeah, I've got to get on up this hill. But, yeah, this is the hard part. Yeah, you don't, people don't show you that part too much. <sighs> It's a long ways down there. I'm almost to the top right there. So, Whew. and this is just one of thousands of these things. All right, later, later. Yeah! Whoa! I'm not done yet. But take a look at this view. Came from way over there somewhere. I'm about a hundred and no two hundred. <laughs> I am about two hundred and forty miles into this 250 mile, roughly, 250 mile trip. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm trying. All right. Yeah, I was gonna take a picture too. All right, I've been out here for weeks <laughs> trying to find other through hikers and I finally get one. Go ahead, what's your name now? I'm Dale. This is Dale. He's from Nebraska. Nebraska. All right. My first time, not three times like you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, Nebraska, that mountainous state, just like Florida. Yeah. And he's just starting out. He's 10 miles in, the only 115 more to go. <laughs> the so, easy ones. <laughs> so there you go. I've got 10 left, and he's got 115 left. So there you go. I'm looking forward. What's that? I said I'm looking forward to it. All right. Anything you, you would like to say to social media people? Oh, just good luck to you on all your adventures. Oh, okay. Well, good luck to you, too. Thank you so much. All right. I can't believe it. I've done it almost right at 10 miles coming up on... Coming up on the um, Highland Creek thing. I'm looking out, looking down the path leads to Highland Creek. And what do I see? A whole bunch of bison right in my way. Oh, crap. Crap. 
I thought they were all herded up and moved to the southeast. Oh man. Oh well. Say la vie. Two forty five. Yep. Two two let me get over phase this way. Two forty five. I wanna keep going. I don't think I'm gonna go all the way, but I might. I don't know. Two forty five. I have now reached the Highland Creek Trail. From here on I'll take trail six, which is the part of the Centennial Trail. And that'll take me back to Norbeck. So yeah, 89 and 6 comes together right here. And I see bison <laughs> up there in my way. Shoot. All right, well, here we go. It's going to be an interesting afternoon for sure. All right, later. Bye-bye. Yeah, I've just got done walking a half mile out of my way to get around those critters see those are bison and they're sort of following along me now I went around them but they're still heading in this direction so I'm gonna scoot on out of here I am in wind cave following trail 6 which is also 89 so yeah two herds so far just a matter of minutes I feel like every bison in this in this national park it's hard to imagine that I'm about two or three miles from the trailhead Norbeck Trailhead, and I called it. <laughs> Nothing like sleeping out here in the middle with a bunch of bison everywhere. So if I survive the night, and the bison stay away from me tomorrow, and the rattlesnakes, I will finish tomorrow morning somewhere between, I don't know, 10 or 11 in the morning. Yeah. Last night on trail. Hope I just survive it. That's the main thing. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh well, if I don't survive, this is my last video. Hope y'all enjoyed them. All right, later. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just left my campsite a few minutes ago. It's about eight fifteen, something like that. But I just want to thank. First, I want to thank God. I want to thank Maggie, my wife. I want to thank all the people that's been sort of hanging out with me and supporting me on this and the just countless number of acts of kindness out here just by I've never met so many people with such kindness as I have on this trip 
It's almost been a month. I started on August 18th. Today is September 13th, I believe. Anyway, it's Thursday, 2022, either September 13th or 14th. I'm just a couple miles or so from the end. But really, I'm just super grateful for everything. I am 248 miles in there we go I'll let you see what I'm looking at right now came from down there check this out isn't this beautiful this is an area that they call the burn here in Wind Cave because years ago it caught on fire. I'm heading that way. But look up there, isn't that beautiful? It's a very exposed area. It's good that I'm doing it early morning because last time I came through here it was 101. Now it's uh, 69 degrees, so that's good. All right, let me get it going. We got to finish this thing up. First yo-yo of the Centennial Trail that's been that's truly being documented. All right, later. Bye-bye. What a beautiful field. All right. Why in the world did I do this? <laughs> well, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to take a moment of being rather stingy and I want to say I did it for myself. <clears throat> and I did. I did this for every member of my family, my cousins my my step family which I consider my family I love them just as much so I did it for my stepdaughters with their husbands and then my grandchildren on that side I did it for my sons their wives and my grandchildren on on that side on my side for all my cousins I did it for, I wanted to, I did it for roaming around in Rapid City. I wanted to be, represent something positive. It's a great place, great outfitter and stuff. But I wanted to, I want to give this yo-yo uh, to them to inspire others. To do the same if not more I did this for all you guys that are getting on up there in age or maybe you got some kind of physical element or both you know you can do th remarkable things don't let people make you think that you can't because of your age or you can't because of a physical thing you'd be amazed you know instead of maybe Instead of riding in a cart at Walmart, just walk, you know, try to walk. Use the grocery carts to help you if you have to. But if you can't do that, just moving your legs at home, anything. Just push yourself. Make a challenge for yourself. And go for it. I did this for my, believe it or not, my high school class of 71 at Bay High. 
all my brothers and sisters there. I know I got on everyone's nerves. I wasn't particularly the best guy around. I apologize for that. But I tried to be your best drum major in the history of the school when I was there because I loved you guys. And I'm trying to be one of the best 71 graduates today for you. There's a lot of reasons why I've done this. And every one of them, to me, is exceptionally important to all the people that follow me. This was for you too. To all my friends, this is for you. Jerry Engel <laughs> and all that martial arts work we did 25 or so years together. It really paid off. I had to really dig deep as if I was in a black belt testing every day. So I want to give you a special thank you as well. So, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I just thank the world of everyone and I'm grateful. I'm trying not to get all emotional because every time, every other minute on this video, I don't want you to see me tearing up and crap like that. So, anyway, to all the trail angels that I met, this is for you, man. I mean, everyone. I'm going to try to put a list at the end of the video, I may have said this earlier, of uh, all the kindness that was shown to me and, and their names. So, if I miss someone, by no means was it intentional. Uncle David. And Aunt Judy, I want you to know I did this for you too, so. But anyway, let's get on with this. Enough of this old weird talk. Here, I've already walked out of that field now. Out here in this, out here in this beautiful little spot. So far, no bison. Oof. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Yeah! Woo! How about that? Yeah. I have to take a big old downhill to that valley. And then that valley, I just follow it out to the end. Isn't that beautiful down there? Yeah. This is a rough, rough downhill. I know because it was a rough uphill. I actually hurt my hip day one coming up here. I thought you'd like that. Ha <laughs> ha! That means I'm about a mile, maybe a mile and a half away if that. Cool. Yeah, I'm heading down into that direction, way down there. Going through there. All right. One more mile. I'm having to be quiet because if I'm going to have an, any kind of up close and personal bison encounter it's going to be through here this is where my first one was there's a wall over here and water and it's shady and cool and what I found is that little suckers like to stand up in there so what happens you end up walking right up on you can't even see them because it's dark in there you know and they're dark before you know it, you're right on top of one. 
scared a total bejesus out of you, so to speak. You know? I mean, it is. So this is the last little part. Be during this last mile. Anyway, just thought you'd like to know, but they, they'll be up in there, or they'll be laying in this high grass. You won't even know they're there until it's too late to yawn them, you know, and they get startled. Jump up. You get startled. They're startled. Everybody's startled. <laughs> All right. Let me keep going. I was probably a half a mile from the trailhead. And we've got bison all over the place on the trail. So I'm off trail trying to go around them. I just hiked, had to climb from way down there where that water is up to here. There's bison around that ridge and they're right in the trail. And they're two great big males, maybe more, and they ain't moving. So, it's crazy to be so close and having to do something like this, but hey, it's a surprise, you know? Makes it interesting, doesn't it? Look, here is pretty up here. Yeah. There you go. Yep. This is it. Trying not to get emotional. I am about to officially complete the first yo yo of the Centennial Trail. There's the parking lot, and there's the Norbeck Trailhead. A little bit of an uphill getting here to the parking lot. And there it is. Whew. I did it. Hey, John. Good job, Tommy. You did it. I'm sorry. That's right. All right, here we are. Today is September 15th. It is. Thursday, September 15th. First official yo yo of the Centennial Trail has been done. Whew. That's a moment. 